All right, so most of you probably know me as <coughs> the lobster guy and the lobster fishing guy. I'm hoping to start sharing more than just the lobster fishing content. We're actually going down to a project that I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time. It's something you guys can actually be part of if you want to. What are we doing today, boys? We're going to rip the sign out? All right, let's go. So where are we going to rip the sign out, boys? At Walmart. At Walmart? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Jace. They'd probably be pretty upset if we ripped Walmart sign down. <laughs> okay, we're going to the cottages. So last winter we actually bought some oceanfront cottages right near Winter Harbor, which is the harbor that I fish out of. I wanted to get them to a presentable stage before I shared them. We have five of them pretty much completed. We're gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what they look like. Soon you'll be able to book with us and come up and stay uh, and maybe buy some lobsters off of us right off the boat if you want. While you're up here, you can take them back to your cottage, cook them up right on the beach. Forgive the construction site and the landscaping, it's still a work in progress but we're getting there mostly just want to show you guys the view while the tide is up you can see i'm already on the beach this is prospect harbor right here it's an active lobster fishing harbor the beach is a typical main beach on the low tide it goes way out and there's actually some sand spots like i said you can buy lobsters directly from me right off the boat you can come back here and cook them up right on the beach rocks just like you've seen me do in some of my videos i'll give you a quick sneak peek of the insides of them in just a minute but first we're gonna go tear the sign down with the boys so that way the sign people can come tomorrow and put the new sign in you want to move the grater Is he gonna take them fishing? Yeah. Still need some finishing touches. We're waiting on countertops, but other than that, it's pretty much ready. They're all pretty open concepts. We tried to keep them open to take advantage of the view. Plenty of glass looking right at the ocean. It's a beautiful spot. This is one of my favorites. My favorite cabin uh, switched many times throughout this project, and I guess I probably still don't have a favorite. Each one is very unique. It's small, but it's got everything you need, including a dishwasher, microwave, fridge. Utilities aren't quite in yet, but we're getting there. Small storage closet, full bathrooms, standing shower. Stay off stairs, just painted and clean. We're going up. There's also gonna be a bed downstairs, so this one's gonna have two beds in it. But up here we got a bed, five miles, four miles from my boat, like two or three from Acadia National Park. So it's a very central location, awesome location to come visit. Here, we got lights too. And we have finished five of the 10 cabins, five more that aren't on the ocean, but they're very close to the ocean. They're just up back a little bit. The plan is to finish those ones this coming winter and have 10 cabins total. But for now, we're gonna have these five ready for the fall, late summer, fall. So keep an eye out for videos and updates coming soon uh, about when we're gonna be ready to rent. We'll have our own website, we'll be on Airbnb and come on up and stay with us. Also, let me know in the comments if anybody has any interest in coming up in the winter, because we're weighing our options and whether or not we want to rent these through the winter. The coast is actually pretty friendly in the winter time compared to inland. The ocean keeps us warm through the winter, so we don't get a ton of snow. When we get snow, it usually melts pretty quick. The past few winters have been pretty mild, so we're still lobster fishing through the winter. So you can still get lobsters. Let me know. 